Uh, welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. Uh, this is going to be a kind of middling episode. Uh, I'm probably going to do a lot of jump cuts and a lot of other stuff. Uh, but I'm just going to go grind probably back on Yukiho's castle. So if there's anything interesting or fun I kind of want to show off to you guys, I'll show you. But for the most part, it's just going to be me grinding. So that's kind of boring, so that's why it's not making it into a full episode. So uh, yeah, uh, we'll see if there's anything fun. Okay, so uh, there's a, I guess, a strong shadow in the final room of the castle. So if we, if I get that far and I decide to fight it, then I'll show it to you guys. It'll probably be in another episode, though. Enemies, hang in there. Okay, guys, so this is a new enemy back in Yukiko's castle, this Black Raven. I don't think I've seen these before. It's pretty weak, so I bet this will be a cinch. Uh, I mean, they only have, what, 138 HP, so it shouldn't be super hard. Uh, I've gained a couple of levels so far, Two just kind of grinding left. it out. Probably weak to Zio. It's yeah. So this is uh, one of the assist attacks that our allies can do. There's Chie going at it. Ooh. God damn, Chie! Shit. Okay, so sometimes your party members will team up uh, during fights. This is uh, their twin dragons ability that happens occasionally. Uh, after an all-out attack, they'll do that. It's pretty dope. That's some thick skin. There's no end to this. Oh, hey, uh, I just got the demon statue drop we needed for one of those quests. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show a little bit of a fight beforehand, that way you guys know uh, which enemy dropped it. That's pretty dope. Oh, I, I just got the Ritz wire. Okay, so I guess the heat balances must drop that item. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I, I go through my, my menus super fast, because I'm doing a lot of battles. One enemy down! Persona! Someone else's turn. Persona! Direct hit! Let me here goes! There's Yosuke's special move. A critical hit! Automatically Let's crits. Go, Pretty great. Okay! Ready or not, here we come! Oh. Uh, man, this is uh this is probably the hardest battle in here, just because these things have so much HP. So, two uh, enemies left! Uh I did unlock Mabufu for uh Chie, which is the uh Deal ice damage to all enemies attack, which is really good. Especially with her ice boost. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much clean up from the top forward. Still going, guys. As a side note, I didn't catch it inside the battle I just did. Um, but so, uh, my main character leveled up level 15, and what that means is I can actually hold 8 personas now instead of just 6. Which is awesome, because I'm really pressed for room on personas right now. Yeah, anywhere new developments, I'll let you know. Alright guys, so I grinded up in, uh, in Yukiko's castle for about an hour. Uh, not much more than that. I figure I don't want to just grind for like 24 hours and be super overpowered. That wouldn't be any fun for anybody. Um, but I'll go ahead and I'll show everybody's levels right now. Uh, as you can see, my main character's level 17. Uh, and then these characters as well. And then, so these are their persona stats and their abilities, which I'll, I'll reorder their abilities later so that it makes more sense for me just for ease of access of playing. Um... Like I said before, Chie learned Mabufu, which is awesome. And Yukiko learned uh, Medea, which is a group heal, which is awesome. Uh, additionally... Oh. <laughs> additionally, uh, I got some new personas here uh, that I just picked up on the floors we were playing on. And my Archangel reached level 15. Uh, the really great thing about that is he learned this move called Survive Dark, which just makes it to where if there's an instant kill move... Uh, that's a dark attack, which is a 50% chance we won't die to it, so we won't instantly game over, which is great. He also learned Sharp Student, which lowers the odds of, uh, being critically hit, which is really good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run in the Velvet Room, see if there's any Personas I want to fuse, and then we'll, uh, call it a, a little mini-episode, I guess. I'll be right back, guys. Oh, there's no one here. I will put this at the beginning of the next episode. That's a reminder mainly for me. Okay. <laughs> now few personas, thank god. Ah, so many events. Uh, you guys will see them in the next episode. 
All right, so we're gonna have to use an Ipon da uh, Datara, which is what Margaret just asked us to make. Uh, she wants it with Sukikaja, and I can't give it Sukikaja. Uh, however, I do have a Sukikaja skill card, so I can teach a Sukikaja by using a skill card on it. Uh, I th and I think that will be really useful. Uh, I am also going to teach it Rakunda, because I just like being able to debuff things. Uh, and let's do Growth 1, so it'll gain more XP. Uh, just passively, because I don't think I'm actually going to use this persona very much in battle. And because we have a social link with our friends, we're going to go ahead and uh, get it a full level. Which is really cool. Just, uh, just free level just because we were hanging out with our friends. That's awesome. Alright guys, so the next persona we're going to go ahead and fuse, and uh, you would be surprised to know I'm going to fuse away the Ipandatara I just made, uh, is going to be uh, Saravasti. Uh, mainly because of this Invigorate 2 ability, it's going to reform 5 SP each turn the main character takes in battle. So that'll greatly enhance our abilities to sustain ourselves. So I think uh, this is going to be our next persona. These are the ones we're going to fuse together, if anybody's curious. Alright, and the skills we're going to pass on. I'm going to take Survive Dark because it's just really, really good. Uh, we're gonna take Zio, uh, uh, Rakunda, because I feel like the main character's persona should always have this ability, because he's the only person that can do it. Uh, and, um, I think Sharp Student will also be a good, a good choice. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. Unfortunately, our Priestess isn't super high, but, you know, uh, any bonus XP is really nice. So, we'll have to level her up once in order to get the Invigorate ability, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run. Plus, her magic stat is really high, so she should be doing a lot of damage with her spells. Oh! I I didn't even realize. I was just talking to the, the NPCs to see if they had anything interesting to say. Uh, we can go back to the shopping district where Saki was. Or where we fought Shadow Yusuke. Uh, is there anything even in here? There wasn't even a dungeon. It was just the battle. Kind of sucky there, I'll stack and probably move. Skill spinner. That must be a weapon for Yosuke, that's really cool. I wonder if there's anything else in here. Oh! This is that other item the guy wanted! Okay, yeah, so there is there is so there's a weapon for Yosuke, and there's also this uh the Mori Renmaru in here. Cool. Great. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for the middling episode. I'm really I apologize if you gets really short, but it's just a point five, so bye!